All right, today I'm going to do a walk around on my 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's a uh, it's a zero accident vehicle, tinted windows. It's really kind of weird because it's listed as a Laredo, but I've never seen a Laredo with all of these options. Um, it is four by four. You can see it's got it's got backup camera, backup sensors. It has remote start on, on the keys here, both keys. It has the uh, stock subwoofer in the back, leather interior. I mean, it's just I, I don't I don't get the classification because Laredo is typically the lower end model, but like I said, usually Laredo has almost no features. So leather interior does have the uh, center cup holder that folds down, and you can put it up. There's the subwoofer. Has the nice rubber mat in the back. <clears throat> it uh, has rear AC and the rear power outlet, which, which I love because uh, somehow my phone's always dying. Um, rubber floor mats. It has the nice wood grain that runs across the front and the back. Uh, um, wood grating. And actually, I forgot to show this. This is the keyless entry where if you have the key in your pocket or purse, you can press the button to lock it or unlock it. Leather seats again. Sunroof. Leather seats. Uh, it does have the push button start. And uh, see that? It's got the darker wood grain, which I like. And it goes all the way across the dash there. Um, navigation. It takes it just a second. We only have 104,509 miles on it. Um, I'll just go to view map and it, so it's got navigation it's got backup camera uh, we'll see here what else it has heated seats those buttons are right here it's got a good sound system the original owner's manual um, no check engine lights nothing like that um, four wheel drive controls are right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show the passenger windows working, and then the driver's side windows working, and then I'll do the sunroof. And then we've got, uh, let's see here, radio already showed. Um, AC, uh, heat is what's on right now because it's cold outside, but all of that good stuff works. Um, you've got cruise controls up here and radio controls over here. Um, I guess that about covers most of the features. Um, we'll just take this thing for a spin real quick. And we should be good to go. I just want to show it shifted through a couple gears. And then, um, and then I'll get on the brakes kind of hard, so uh, you see it stopping smoothly as well. It does have Goodyear Wrangler tires. I don't think I said that. Um, and that's all the way around. Getting on the brakes kind of hard here. Again, no check engine lights, nothing like that. I guess I can go ahead and do the uh, let's do some four-wheel drive stuff here. I think you've got to put it in. Let's go. Let's go sand and mud here, and you'll see it does that. And then the traction control goes off when you do that. And then I'm gonna do the uh, go to neutral and go to four wheel drive low. See if we hear it click. Boom! There you go. So now it's in four wheel drive low. Um, I guess that about covers it. Uh, super nice Jeep. I'm going show the storage here. But everything's super clean, low mileage. Uh, loaded car. You got extra storage here. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you for watching and have a good day.